Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd show you the products I use on Rose. She's two and I have always been obsessed with products, skincare, body care, makeup, things like that since I was about 15. So I knew that I'd also want to get loads of products for her. I thought I'd just show you what I use on her and hopefully you'll find it useful um, if you have a toddler or are about to have a baby because a lot of these products I used on her when she was a baby as well. So the first thing I use is the Burt's Bees Shampoo and Wash. Burt's Bees on Rose since she was a baby and I've just been loyal to the brand. I love it. It's completely natural, 99.9% um, .9 natural, no parabens, petroleum or SLS, whatever that is, um, but it hasn't got it. And also it's a no tears one so it doesn't hurt them if it goes into their eyes. This is the shampoo and the body wash so it's two in one. So it's great if you travel, you don't have to take something else with you. And she's always got on with it and the scent just reminds me of when she was a baby and it's something that I always recognise as Rose's smell so I think that's really nice. After the next thing I use is the um, Burt's Bees Nourishing Baby to moisturise Rose and to give her a little massage after her bath. Again it smells amazing and I find it so much more nourishing than a normal moisturiser especially in the winter. So I popped that on after her bath. I also got given a pot of the Sleepy um, Body Lotion by Lush. And I was, I was a bit dubious at first because it has quite high claims of um, helping you sleep well. Um, and my husband bought it for me and I didn't particularly enjoy the scent. It's like very sweet. Um, so I decided to use it on Rose because I thought if it helps her relax, not that she needs any help because she goes straight to sleep, but I didn't want to waste it. And Lush is all natural, so I didn't think it would cause Rose any harm. Um, so I sometimes use this as well. Um, it says it's got sweet tonka and lavender flower to hush your thoughts ready for a peaceful night's sleep. So this could be good if you have a baby that is struggling to sleep or settle at night. Um, maybe massage some of this onto them and the scent might help them relax. After Rose has got her moisturiser on, then we have to start the dreaded task of brushing her teeth, which she absolutely hates. We went through a phase of buying every single different type of toothbrush or finger brush, anything to help her, and um, it was really stressful actually because she just wouldn't brush her teeth. And then we didn't brush them for a few days because we just couldn't handle the tantrums. And then I looked up and she had like an orange crust on her teeth so I thought no I need to brush them every single night so then I got her this little electric toothbrush um, and it lights up you push it once and the light comes on and then you push it again and it vibrates and this has actually really helped she really enjoys pushing the button and she likes the light and I use it with the Colgate um, smiles baby zero to two year toothpaste which doesn't smell fruity it just smells like normal toothpaste and it's not been that bad. I mean, there are some nights where we still have the tantrum, but it's not been that bad with this toothbrush. So I really recommend one of them if you're struggling to get your child to brush their teeth. I also think the electric toothbrushes do such a better job than the manual ones. So even if you only do it for a few seconds, at least you're getting in there and sort of massaging the gums and doing it properly. For wipes, I've always used water wipes since the very beginning. They are a bit more expensive, but they're completely natural. They've got no horrible scent or added chemicals or anything like that. They literally just say 99.9% .9 water, 0.1% fruit extract. And what I do is I buy them on bulk in, in Amazon and it's a lot cheaper, so I'll link below where I get them from. Um, but they also say they're accepted in, with the National Eczema Association. So it's just, there's just nothing in there that's gonna irritate your child's skin and skin can get irritated anyway when they've got a nappy on all the time so um, I really really like these. Nappy wise I've always used Pampers. I did um, try the Aldi ones and to be honest they were fine. Um, there was nothing wrong with them, they work just as well so I do sometimes pick up the Aldi nappies when I'm in there um, but if I'm not shopping at Aldi that week then I pick up the Pampers ones and I've got the pull-ups 
and the baby dry. Rose is in size five baby dry and pull up she's in four and a half because I think sometimes because they're pull ups and there's no Velcro attaching them I always go just half a size down to make sure that they fit snugly. Um, these are really good the pull ups but the only thing I find is that when I go to change her I don't know if I'm getting the wrong size or something but there's always like she's always got a wedgie and there's always one half is just up her bum um, so I, I don't know if it's giving her that much protection and her pyjamas are always a bit wet or damp um, when she wears these at night so she's obviously wriggling around and leaking a bit so I don't tend to put them on her at night but I do put um, the normal baby dry on her at night with the velcro because I just find that they're more secure and they suit her much better. I've also um, always used Sudo, I think my mum told me to use it and ever since I have. Um, I put it on after, every time she does a poo. Um, after I've wiped, I always put this on even if there's no rash or irritation and um, if there is anything that, any irritation that's going to happen, I'm, I'd rather prevent it than cure it. And then to brush her hair, I use this Kent brush, which is, which has got really dense bristles and they're natural bristles. And I find it really easy because I always sweep her hair over to the side at a side parting. So I find this really easy to get the perfect sweep and to brush the curls back. And then I spray her with this um, baby, they say perfume, it's basically just like a scented water. It's called Nanuco. Um, and it's from Spain, but you can, you can buy it on Amazon now. And it smells amazing, like fresh sort of lemony scent. And I just spray it on her hair and it lasts all day and her hair always smells amazing and it's never caused her any irritation. I've used it on her since she was about three weeks old. Um, it's really, really gentle and it's lovely. They do. They also do a shampoo, um, a body wash and I think they also do like a fabric softener to put in with your clothes. But you should definitely try this. It's really nice and really easy in the spray bottle. And I just thought I'd also show you what I use when Rose has a cold because just recently, um, since she started nursery, I feel like she's definitely a lot more sniffly than she was before. The first thing I use is this Calpol diffuser and if you can see, it's got like a little um, slit here that you insert, I'll try and get it out and show you. It's got, you insert one of these um, little tabs that you buy separately um into it and then you plug it in and it just scents the whole room with like a vapor it doesn't emit any vapor but it just scents it with a smell um similar to sort of vix but um it it helps calm them and it helps them to breathe easier so it's also got a little night light in as well i pop this on at night when she's um feeling sniffly and i think that really helps her the next thing I found for when she's got a cold in Home Bargains was this Olbersoil bath. Um, and I thought I'd pick it up because it's got Olbersoil in it. It's quite strong. Um, but I literally just put like half a capful in her bath and it just helps her breathe easy, clears her nose, ready to go to sleep. And that, um, me and my husband also use it if we've got a cold and I think it's really, really nice. So have a look if you can find it in um, Home Bargains because that's where I picked it up or you can probably find it online. If I can find the link, I'll link it below for you. And then I also have the Olbus Oil for Children drops. I did try the, um, I think it's the Snuffle Snuffle Babe um, drops, but they just weren't strong enough. Um, and I couldn't, I, don't, I couldn't smell anything on them. So I brought the Olbus Oil for Children and it's a lot better. I dab it just on her sheets, um, on her pajamas, uh, I also get a bowl of hot water and put a few drops in and put it underneath her cot so that the vapour sort of goes through and helps her breathe and it keeps the air moist um, so that she doesn't get a cough. So I always use that when she's got a cold. Last thing is Trusty Vicks. Um, so I didn't start using this on her till she was about a year and a half because I know it's quite strong but if she does ever have a cold I just rub it on her chest under her pyjamas and I also read online that you Apparently it helps if you put it on the soles of their feet, so I've tried that. Um, I don't know if that works, but I do put it on there anyway. Um, and I just think that helps when she's got a cold again, just to help clear her um, and set her up for a nice peaceful sleep so she doesn't wake up coughing or sneezing. And the last thing I've been giving her is this Halib Halibo Orange Baby and Toddler Multivitamins for Everyday Health. 
um, it's for one month plus because they did have the chewy gum gummy ones, but they said not you shouldn't give them to them till they're three, and I didn't obviously want Rose to choke or anything. Give her this every morning. Um, she just has five mil on a spoon, and I just think it helps support her immune system. Um, like I say, now she's at nursery and um, with the cold weather, so I make sure to give her that every morning. And that's pretty much everything I use um, on Rose and what's in her little toiletry drawer. So I hope you enjoyed watching and it gave you some inspiration or ideas on products to use on your baby or toddler. And I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.